Hello, my lovely friends. Hi. <clears throat> Got the sun on my shoulder. Woohoo! I went into the Dollar Tree to get my fairy garden order because I got an email saying it was in and they said, oh, we got that email too, but the truck's not here yet. Come back at two o'clock. So it is, excuse me, it's two o'clock and I'm sitting at home making a video because I want to show you what I found at the Dollar Tree since I decided to look around. I decided to look around because my order wasn't in. So first I went to the plant holder section and I got one of these and I don't know if I want to use it for fruit or a plant I might want to put my grapefruit in it can you guys tell me how do you store your fruit do you put any of your fruit in the fridge your fresh fruit um because I want to do it the best way that's going to make it last the longest and be the most delicious last year I went looking for hanging plant holders everywhere and only found some that were about twenty dollars and I needed some, I needed more than one and I didn't want to blow all my money on a $20 one so I just used a regular pot and then I tied knots to make a macrame hanger. Well look what I found. Look how simple this is. This is sort of like, I think it's like basketball net rope, this, ha this holder here. But um, it's got these, they're pretty sturdy it seems. I don't know how sturdy it would be though. They're not really moving around, but it has little things that you can pop out to drain the water. There's three of them. So I got that. I got a planter trolley, so that will be good for my biggest rose bush outside. Um, I'm drinking a smoothie. I've had all I'm going to have for now. You can see it was up to here. In my smoothie is whey powder, frozen blueberries, coconut oil, organic, um, turmeric powder, black pepper, cayenne pepper, lecithin granules, erythritol, chocolate whey powder, and milk. I wanted to use apple juice as my base, watered down apple juice, but I didn't have any apple juice, so I just used milk. I tried water and it was disgusting, so... I just decided to use milk as my base today. And it tastes really good. Oh, and there's ground flax in there. Did I say that already? Um, I wanted to update you that I went back and forth on this, whether this was yummy or yucky. And my final verdict is I'm not going to buy these again. Vitamin D gummies. I don't like them. That's my final verdict. I said yay. I said nay. I said nay, then yay. And now I'm saying nay for good. No more. So then I found one of these tins, finally, finally. I want the other one that's longer, the more oval one, but I wanted this one. Um, I found, there were a whole bunch of chocolate bunnies, but this is the only one that had the least amount of ingredients and no hydrogenated oils and no fructose. So I went with the, just the basic milk chocolate. That's for my older son. This is going to be the chocolate bunny version for my younger son because it has peanut butter in it. The older son doesn't like chocolates with peanut butter. There's the mini coconut eggs. I got the dark chocolate coconut candies the other day, but this one is just eggs. So, um, that's it for treats. I got this duck for my younger son. This goes along with a silly annoying slash cute YouTube video called the duck song if you have kids look it up or if you have grandkids um, it's not offensive in any way there's no swear words it's just a little annoying it's got a cute ending to it there's like two or three videos in the story um, I found two of the long wearing LA colors liquid lipstick matte I'm wearing them together right now I'm wearing Kiss Don't Tell first, and then Kiss Kiss. And there were two other colors. There was Date Night, which was a dark purple. It probably is more bright than it looks because these are way lighter than I thought they would be. And then In the Mood was a dark red. So I may want to actually go get those because they... I don't know. I don't think purple actually is good on my lips. I don't know. 
So I swatched these and then I tried to smear them off just to see like how long wearing they are. They are definitely matte and they're definitely long wearing. I found a large eyeshadow brush from my niece. I'm going to teach her how to apply makeup using long brushes because she's never had that before. I found a noisemaker. This was in a package and I opened it to listen to the noises. We've got a whistle. <coughs> laughing. That's supposed to be drums and a cymbals. I don't buy that. Cheering crowd. Here's a siren. A burp. I cut off the siren because it goes way too long. But here's the burp. I think my son's going to like that one. Oh, gunshot. I don't like that. Let's call that the explosion. I think maybe that's what it is. It's an explosion. I already threw the packaging away, but I think it is called an explosion. I like that one. This one is supposed to be a toot, toot, but it sounds like a creaking floor. So my son's going to have fun playing with that. And looking around, looking around, how lucky we are to be alive right now. Two books. I feel like I'm shouting. I should just talk regularly and see if you guys can hear me. This book... A Beautiful Mess, authored by two sisters, Elsie and Emma. It's Emma Chapman and Elsie Larson. And they have a website called abeautifulmess.com. This retails at $18, $17.99. There are 240 pages. The last page is an index. And it tells what gear they use. It tells you how to organize your pictures, um, how to make a photo chair, how to make a photo mobile. How to make photo soap for your guests. Um, canvas photo transfers, a storybook locket. I really want to make one of those. Um, taking pictures in public places, using candids or outtakes, wearing costumes, um, hairstyling tips. Wow, that's really cool. Holding the camera out in front of you at arm's length. Um, taking pictures of your records, your music taking pictures of your travels, like your traveling vehicle. That doesn't look nice right there. Um, capturing your life at school or work. Photographing your collections. That's neat. I'm going to enjoy this a lot. So I recommend this book. You guys should get it if you come across it. And then this book, this one retails for $25.95. Yep, $25.95. It's authored by Kurt Pillam... Pillamer? Carl Pillamer, sorry. And it is... I might even read this one and make a video series of reading this to people. It just looks like a really good book about relationships and about how you choose a partner. Because we don't just fall in love without consequences, obviously. Because everybody you choose in your circle of friends like what we choose and who we choose has an effect obviously and there are factors that go into that and um, the better outcome based on your choice uh, is gonna have a lot to do with what you put into it what what are you considering when you make your choice like in here, it recommends that you go talk to trusted elders about their experiences about marriage and about relationships. It recommends that you play competitive games with your significant other and see how they are when they play games. Like, are they super competitive? Are they a pushover? Are they like, do they back out really fast when they start to lose? Um, do they try to co-op with you, like try to help you out, like do they bend the rules or do they stick to the rules? Um, then it, sa it asks, will he or she be a good parent? Like all these different things to consider when you're looking for a mate. And then keeping the spark alive and getting through the hard parts and communication. So I might want to read this in a little video series on my channel. I don't know. But I recommend the book for sure. That's it for the haul. 
I wanted to talk to you about um, something that might give a little insight as to why some of us are just not able to find those items at the Dollar Tree that we're seeing in other Dollar Trees, like we're seeing in other halls. And we're like, we're waiting for waiting and waiting for these things to come in and they're just not coming in. So I talked to the girl that was working um, at the Dollar Tree and she said that the Dollar Tree will order things based on what is already selling well at their stores and the demographics of the area. So, like, if you live in a place where there's a lot of young people who have a lot of young families, um, their toy section and their clothing section are probably going to be really well stocked. Um, if you live in a place where there's a lot of people who want makeup at affordable prices, their makeup section will be, and their cosmetics and uh, body washes section will be really well stocked. If you're living in a place where there's a lot of people who go in to shop for the groceries because they can't afford food anywhere else, then the food section should be very well stocked. Um, stuff like that. and like, So depending on what the history of people's buying is, um, if you're someone who absolutely loves crafting but you live in an area where most people are into gardening or cooking or makeup, you might not find what you need in the crafting section. Um, stuff like that. So I don't know if I explained it very well, but hopefully that made sense. I know for sure that if I want to get a good book, I need to go to the one I went to today or a different one out of the, the, the there's a handful of Dollar Trees very close to my house. I know that if I want to get um, uh, stationery, all the good new stationery, I have to go to a particular one. Um, I know if I want the dairy and frozen section of the groceries to be better, I need to go to a particular store. So it definitely makes sense. What Whatever is selling is what they're going to be bringing in. So with that said, I'm going to go because I'm going to go get my fairy garden order and then I'm going to go pick up my kids. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.